Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Casual Comic Collector. So today I've got the Punisher Max Omnibus Volume 2 by Garth Ennis. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap the book uh, and then just go through, uh, go through it quite quickly just to show you what's on the inside. Um, right, so let's, uh, let's get the wrapping off and have a look inside. So that's the uh, that's the cover, on the front, the side, and then the back. So this collects uh, Punisher number one uh, thirty one through sixty, um, Barracuda Max numbers one through five, uh, Punisher the Tiger, Punisher the Cell, and Punisher the End, and it has a cover price of a hundred U.S. dollars. Yep. All right, so let's uh, take the dust jacket off and have a look what it looks like underneath. So, um, basically, like Volume 1, it's got the black black cover finish with uh, Punisher Max by Garth Ennis on the front. Volume 2 on the side, and again, the Punisher skull on the back. So, it looks identical to the, uh, to the Volume 1. Right, before we go through the book, uh, I'm just going to show you what the binding looks like. So, it's uh, pretty standard Marvel quality. Um, I mean, binding looks good. When the book is laid out, stays out open, stays flat, there's no gutter loss. Um, but that's right down the middle, even when you keep it open from the beginning. Pages stay open, or the book stays open, pages don't flip over. Um, and the same is true at the back of the book. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Good quality. Um, binding holds together nicely. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. So, let's, uh, let's have a flip through then. So this is, well, volume two um, of uh, Garth Ennis's run on the uh, Punisher as part of the Marvel Max imprint. Um, and like I've said in previous videos, so Marvel Max is basically uh, sort of the the label where people, or at least the artists and writers, get licensed to go a little bit extreme. And go a little bit more violent, more uh, hardcore, I guess. Uh, and, yeah, well, the language gets a bit sweary as well. But, um, I mean, I think Garth Ennis is the, uh, the perfect writer for that. Um, his stuff can get pretty, pretty out there. Um, and based on his previous work with Preacher, for example... Um, I think people will know that he, uh, he, he can really bring it to the table, um, if he's allowed to sort of go over the top and, um, by all accounts, <laughs> for example, um, you know, if, if given the option, uh, he will probably go that far. Um, but, I mean, the art looks good, um, Garth Ennis, one of my favorite writers, so I'm, I think I'm looking forward to reading this, um, should be a good read. Um, but it looks good as well. Um, I think it's a collaboration from different artists. So as you flip through, you'll notice that some of the, um, I mean, the artwork changes, but it all looks quite good. But yeah, I mean, it should be at least in an entertaining read. And then you get a little bit of extras there at the end. To be honest, 
it feels like there's maybe five pages of extras, so not much at all. Um, I think by comparison there was maybe like 30 pages on the Volume 1 omnibus of, uh, of this, so um, yeah, not too much here to be honest. But I guess you come for the, mainly for the actual, you know, story and not necessarily the extras, but generally I've seen books with a bit more on the extras section, but yeah, still alright. Um, but that's it guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, please like it, uh, please follow the channel, um, but that's it for now, um, see you guys soon.